T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 10. Austin, it's time. I'm initiating the District 2.0 Broker Launch Protocol. Send a car. Right away, sir. I must warn you, brokers are eager to learn about the presentation. Now that protocol has been engaged, you might be followed. I'm taking every precaution to make sure the launch is kept secret until you are ready to present. Thank you, Austin. Greetings, sir. Take me to Oakville. Indeed. Destination Oakville. Welcome to Oakville. Scan complete, sir. Please begin. When it comes to real estate, it is Toronto, the GTA versus everyone. We're number one in population growth in North America. Number one in most active cranes with over 234 of them in the air. And number one when it comes to most amount of pre-construction condo units sold on the planet. Is it just about real estate? It's not just about real estate. Toronto is top 10 influential financial hubs on the planet as well with over 4,200 startups, a score in access of 97.2 when it comes to health, education, infrastructure, economy, and over 22,500 new technology-related jobs. Austin, I think it's time we show them the beauty of Oakville. Let's make it happen. Accessing file, the beauty of Oakville. What's that place on the left over here? Is that Appleby College? Yes, it is. One of the top-rated private schools in the country. Show me downtown Oakville. Downtown Oakville. Now show me the marina. Oakville Waterfront. Now show me Glen Abbey Golf Course. Glen Abbey Golf Course, host of the RBC Canadian Open. Okay, Austin, now I want to know the top 10 reasons why we should be buying in Oakville. Reason number 10. Excellent real estate investment. Show me nine. Reason number nine. Rated one of the safest places to live. Okay, let's go with eight. Reason number eight. Only 30 minutes from Toronto. How about seven? Reason number seven. Oakville GO Station is the second largest train terminal next to Union Station. Hmm, that's interesting. Six. Reason number six. 2,500 acres of parklands and trails. Okay, five. Reason number five. Close proximity to top medical facilities. Four. Reason number four. Newly built sports and recreation facilities. I like four. Three. Reason number three. Top schools. Two. Reason number two. Incredible employment opportunities. Okay, now show me the number one reason why people should be buying in Oakville. Reason number one. Consistently ranked the number one place to live in the GTA. Makes sense to me. So let's see what Oakville looked like in 2010. Accessing file. Oakville 2010. I'm gonna put that over here. 
Now show me what Oakville looks like today. Oakville today. Okay, Austin, now show me all the development applications that are currently happening in Oakville. Development applications in Oakville. Okay, let's talk about the site. Where is the site located? Site location. Wow, that looks like the center of Oakville. Okay, I want to see all the retail that surrounds this site. Accessing file. Show slideshow of retail. Okay, now show me the restaurants. Okay, and that hospital in that arena, where was that? Okay, show me transit. Accessing file. I want to see the 403 and the 407. Now I want to show you where the VIA bus line, the transit line, and the GO station are. Okay, and I know right outside the site there's a dedicated bus transit line that's being currently constructed. Show me where that is, Austin. Now the beauty of this is that we can connect and take transit everywhere. So this is why Oakville is considered an anchor hub. 5,000 people every day get off the GO train and come to Oakville to work. 85% of those people like to live within five kilometers of the Oakville station. This site is under five kilometers from the Oakville station. And what's amazing to understand is that Oakville has 47.7 jobs per acre, which is five times more than the GTA that has 9.4 jobs per acre. More and more, we are seeing Toronto urban expats start moving out to the suburbs. The average household income in Toronto is now $92,000. 70% of the population are capped at $1 million to purchase their home. Affordability is driving these expats to the suburbs. Why not Oakville? Consistently ranked the fourth best place to live in the country. Ranked the best neighborhood to live in the GTA. The desire and the comfort to work from home is evident in why these urban expats are deciding to move more and more into the suburbs. Let's get into the Oakville rental market. Austin, show me what the appreciation was for rentals from 2017 to 2018. Accessing file, rental appreciation. Okay, I'm gonna move that over here. Now I want you to show me from 2019 to 2020. Okay, now show me exactly the appreciation from Q2 of 2019 to Q4 of 2019 over here. These are amazing numbers. And this is why Oakville has the lowest vacancy rate in the GTA at 0.6%. Now what's even more amazing is you need to understand the Oakville market versus the Toronto market when it comes to rentals. Show me how many available leases are in Oakville right now. And show me how many of those leases are one bedroom or den or smaller. Okay, now show me how many active leases are in Toronto over here. And show me how many active leases are one bedroom or den or smaller over here. That is the opportunity for the rental market in Oakville. Who's bringing all of this together for you? District developments. Yes, they are. Austin, bring up district developments portfolio. Accessing file, district developments portfolio. As you can see, district developments has over 3,500 units in the pipeline. Now, out of all these units in the pipeline, Austin, let's show how much is in Oakville alone. District Developments Oakville Portfolio. Over 2,000 units in Oakville alone, making them the largest developer in Oakville. Now, who's working on the project, Austin? Accessing file. Show them figure three. Figure three preeminent interior design firm. Multi-award winning interior design firm, designing all the amenities in the interiors of the project. People want confidence in real estate. They want security in real estate. What's more secure than one of the largest Canadian REITs as a partner, Fiera Real Estate? Who's the architect on the file? Accessing file. Kirkor Architects Transformative Sustainable Visualization. Kirkor Architects. Multi-award winning architectural firm. And the sales and marketing. I think I know this company. Austin Birch. Never heard of them. Austin Birch. Yours truly. Austin, I think they're ready. It's time to activate District Trailside 2.0. Activating run fire. District Trailside 2.0. Oh. 
349 condo units, that's right. It is 25% bigger than the first building. Not just bigger, Eric. Better. 15,000 square feet of amenity space. We're talking about a games room, a kitchen, dining area, all overlooking this beautiful outdoor terrace. Awesome, let's show them the lobby. Double height ceiling, 24 hour concierge, and this beautiful feature staircase. Show them the fitness studio. Again, double height ceiling, state of the art equipment, Pilates and yoga lounge. Let's show them the interiors. 10 and a half foot kitchen runs with 30 inch appliances standard. I wanna see that other kitchen. All kitchen cabinets and bathroom vanities handcrafted and delivered from Italy. Now I know you're excited about this, Austin. Let's show them District AI. Accessing file, District AI. You know this is my brother-in-law. Next generation smart living, making the whole building smart, standard with every suite in this project. Okay, Austin, I think it's time we start letting them know about the opportunity. Accessing file. Let's show them what the Oakville rental market is demanding in terms of lease type. I wanna do that right here. Oakville rental opportunity. Okay, and then over here, let's show them the unit mix at District Trailside 2.0. Accessing file. Looks pretty similar. Now I'm gonna show you the investment side. We're gonna show you the first scenario over here. A 700 square foot condo in the city of Toronto is gonna to cost you $945,000. That's also $189,000 of deposits. You have 16,000 on average of DCs, and on top of that, you have about $32,000 in land transfer tax. Parking, $80,000. Locker, if you can get a locker, that's another $10,000. I'm gonna show you our scenario over here. Same 700 square foot condo is gonna cost you $545,000. That's a savings of almost $400,000. What's the deposit on that? Almost 50% less in terms of deposits. DCs, zero, and I'm gonna to talk to you about that. Land transfer tax, $7,500. Almost 25% the cost of land transfer in Toronto. Parking and locker, it's included. Where do you think the best investment scenario is? It is obvious that it is District 2.0. More and more, people are looking for larger condos for best prices. This is the size of the average pre-con condo in Toronto. Now I'm gonna make that a little bigger. I'm gonna push that over here, and you're gonna see the average condo size at District Trailside 2.0 you get larger units for less cost. Bigger is better after all. Austin, I'm pretty sure we have some amazing incentives for this project. Let's activate the incentives for Trailside 2.0. Activating file, District Trailside 2.0 wow. incentives. That's amazing. Yes, they are amazing. You gotta be kidding me. Outstanding. You're not kidding. That's right, parking and locker, $50,000 value included with every suite. Now I saw that extended deposit structure, Let's bring that up in detail. Outstanding. Everybody can take advantage of this extended deposit structure. Okay, Austin, that's a lot of information. Am I missing anything? Fashion sense. Oh, that's right. The constant question of real estate versus the TSX. Let's show them how much real estate has appreciated in the last five years. Accessing file, real estate appreciation. Let's show them how much the TSX has appreciated in the last five years. Accessing file, TSX appreciation. Oh, see that dip? Yes. That's a 30% correction in March of this year. When's the last time real estate has corrected by 30%? When's the last time that real estate has even adjusted by 5%? You have me riveted. Austin, this is super exciting. I knew there was a reason we had to get together today. This was a great message. I think it's time that you engage email protocol. Engaging email protocol. Go.